Welcome to today's video. I'm going to talk to you about how hormones affect IBS. First, let's look at the sex hormones. If you're a woman, you may already have noticed that your IBS symptoms are worse before and also during your period. Now, this is due to hormonal fluctuations. During the second half of the cycle, estrogen is lower for several days, whereas progesterone is relatively high at the end of the cycle, but then it drops off suddenly as well during the period, so both are low. So both women with and without IBS actually experience some intestinal discomfort during the periods when those hormones drop. But of course those with us with IBS, we feel it much more acutely as we know our bodies are more sensitive to all stimuli, especially the gut. Now bloating can be worse in those with IBS in the second half of the cycle, just before your period. And also, women with IBS also seem to suffer more from actual menstrual symptoms such as water retention, concentration difficulties, compared to other women. And to back this up, it's known that there's a decline in IBS after menopause, which indicates again that the sex hormone fluctuations play a part in producing the symptoms, because after menopause there are no fluctuations anymore. Right, now on to the gut hormones. Now, not a lot of research has been done in this area, unfortunately, about the effect of the, these hormones on the gut. However, there is some indication that they could be causing some of our problems, or, or part of them, at least. Now, many people with IBS have symptoms after a meal. That's when the, the hormones come out. So there's some evidence that IBS symptoms could be causing this abnormal activity in at least three of the gut hormones they've studied. Now these hormones have been shown to be higher in people with IBS in certain studies. And one study actually shown that one of these hormones, Motilin, increases in IBS sufferers under stress. So the abnormal behavior of these gut hormones is thought to play a part in both after eating and when under stress. And lastly, adrenal hormones. Now, many studies, as we know, have shown the negative effect of stress on IBS. The adrenal hormone cortisol produces many of these changes which the stress causes in the body. And two research studies have reported that cortisol is unusually high in women in particular with IBS. But there is another stress hormone, corticotropin-releasing hormone, and that may play a part. A Japanese research study has reported that the intestines of IBS patients show stronger and longer lasting muscle contractions in response to this particular hormone compared to other people without IBS. Anyway, much more research is required in all of these areas before any conclusions can be reached. And also, but the thing is that these abnormalities may only be an intermediate step since hormones are message chemicals. The source of the message may be somewhere else. So, as I said, we need some more research in this area. And you and I are not going to do it. Let's hope they get on with it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.